Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday morning, May 22nd. My oldest daughter, her birthday was yesterday, and uh, she would have been 47 this year. She uh, passed away in 2004 of a grand mal seizure. So it's been tough. Anyway, I have my cross stitch I'm going to be finishing. I put, I got a piece of cardboard. I put some batting on. And now I'm going to glue it to the cardboard with the batting. Okay, also I have two pieces, two other pieces of cardboard and some fabric that I picked out that I will be using for the, this. And some of the ribbon and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it, but some of it I will. Just don't know which one. <laughs> oh, I got quite a few of that. Okay, okay, I got two of these. I don't think I need both. So anyway, I don't know which one I'm going to use. Set those aside. Okay, I have... I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue this to this here and again I learned this from uh, <laughs> Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives okay go ahead and you do each corner oh, dab a glue so you do that one corner and I like to go and switch to the opposite corner and I did pre-iron this so I know where the, I want the, the cardboard to be okay so we'll go ahead and do that my glue isn't quite warmed up enough <laughs> but uh, it is getting there so it won't be bad Yeah, I would have had this video done sooner, but I've been outdoors gardening. <laughs> and in fact, I need to get out there today, but I don't know if I should because my fingers are swelling from picking weeds. <laughs> so that's a, uh, okay. So I was just looking to make sure I got it right. Oh, you know, I think I'm going to glue each side because I always fold these over and it gets a little wonky. There we go. checking to make sure you have your placement right it looks like everything's looking good awesome okay I want to do I think the long sides first oops oh boy okay there we go Remy come here Sorry, I'm going to have to pause, take care of my dogs, hold on. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> I, I have a rescue that uh, 
I have to put a what they call a belly band on him. He's a male and he tends he will lift his leg and I do not want any <laughs> accidents in my house. Thank you. <laughs> but he's a sweet boy. But I think uh these might be our last dogs. We have three. I don't know why what I was thinking. <laughs> but we had three before and we thought we said swore we would never have three dogs again. And yep, here we are. We have three. Never thought we would have any male dogs either. And we have two. The Papillon Mix. He's the one that has the leg lifting problem. <laughs> and then we have a German Shepherd purebred that we're fortunate to be offered. He was the biggest out of the litter, and uh, yeah. So stitching forever, housework whenever. That's that's cute. Okay, so basically, I'm gonna do the same for these. Make sure I got that right. So I'm going to just do the same. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna glue these together. I just want to be to glue kind of close to the edge. Here, I think I missed. Okay, put these together like so. So you have a nice backing. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to put this on here. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe not. That might be too, too much, All right? Maybe I'll put this green around the edges instead, right? Let's put that around. I think that should look pretty good. All right, like so. Mm -hmm. Let's see. See how this would look if I put this underneath. No, too much, too much, too much purple. I do like this, but I think that's going to go. So I'm going to use, I think this is Chanel, I'm not sure. So I'm going to now glue this onto that. So, the same thing. Oh boy, let's see. I want to make sure I get this on straight. Okay. Oh. Um. 
now I think what I'll do is kind of run a little bead of glue. Alright, just start that off. There we go. got glitter everywhere. That's thank you to Dollar Tree. <laughs> with the glue using the glue with my cross stitch at all okay I am just gonna cut this off and finish up the glue of the glue and we are done out really cute and I am going to grab some oops draw my scissors and put my scissors up and let's see uh, I'm gonna I need to uh, <laughs> pick up some more some more uh, Magnets for sure. I'm gonna use the little ones and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put one in each corner I think. And I put two together because I'll probably put the other two on whatever I want to mount this on. But I'm not sure. Oh, that was hot. Well, it's a little bit off, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see it. I grabbed one too many. I think I'll put it on here <laughs> so I don't burn myself. Right. Okay, and one more. Oh, that's not metal. It's not sticking to it. Okay. And. That's a finish. Now let me. Right. I will be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. I was searching around my room looking for something to put my stitching in, and I have been. <laughs> I hope I don't get criticized for this, but I have been gutting books to use in uh, some paper projects that I'm doing. Uh, what's that called? Oh, I'm following Cindy A. Lewis and she's doing a making tags and creating boards with different papers and textures and stuff. So I've been taking out the books 
and I'm going to use some of those in some of my projects. But I thought, oh, you know, that would be neat. You know, I could uh, prop my stitching and display it like that. What do you guys think? I think that turned out really cute. And of course, perfect, right? Okay, thank you everyone for sticking along with me. I really appreciate and love you all. Please subscribe, click on that bell, and like my video. That would be awesome. I'd like to get to 100, and I will have a giveaway when I reach 100. Uh, thanks, everyone. Bye.